Boogies, and today we'll be continuing Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Okay, last time in Cyberpunk Edge Runners, we got introduced to Jimmy Kurosaki. I think that's how you say it, probably. Anyways, he died. <laughs> this show has no problem with killing people, and that's scary. Okay, anyways, some important info that he told David. First of all, well, he said Norris was a soldier, and he couldn't take it. He talking about the San Devastan, the thing on his back. I mean, he was like built for it, and he he couldn't take it. He became a cyber psycho. And David's response to that was, "He's built different." So he told him, "I'm built different," and that's how he's able to do. I I mean, I guess he's right. He's done the he's done the San Devastan thing like what twenty plus times now, and he's not dead or a cyber psycho, and he's still sane. So I don't know how he's doing it. But Jimmy also told him that it always ends in one of two ways. You either lose yourself forever or die. And he's referring to him on like the the implant he has in his body, all that stuff. It always ends in one of two ways. You either become a cyber psycho or die. So and I mean Jimmy knows what he's talking about too, because he he's like he's all up in this BD stuff. I mean he's seen all of he's seen tons of cyber cycles become cyber cycles. He knows how it works and how it how it always ends. So when Jimmy says that to David, I mean it has some weight behind it. You know what I mean? Like he knows what he's talking about. And even in his dying last breaths, literally, Jimmy looked at David and smiled and kind of laughed because he knew what he was saying was right. And David's now probably thinking about that info because he knows he's probably right as well. And I know last episode I mentioned that Lucy didn't get brain uh, brain fried like everyone else did when he when uh, Jimmy did that EMP thing, but after I rewatched it when editing it, it makes sense. I mean, she wasn't even in the building; she was outside of the garage. Everyone else was in the garage; she was on the outside of the garage, and she was pretty far. So I guess it makes sense. I'll let that one slide, but she's still acting a little sussy. Something's going on. I don't quite know what it is yet, though. But Rebecca's. St at least last episode well, she wasn't in it because she was still mourning so hopefully she'll be you know in it so we'll see all right we're gonna hit plan three two one what bam who the heck is this <clears throat> it looks kind of like Maine well at least the hair I don't know not big enough. Oh! Hmm. What the? Who the heck are these? What? What is going on? Did she just get ripped out of it? What? Oh no! Yo, I hate this. I hate this show. Falco? Uh, he's becoming a... He's, oh, no. He's losing it. Only out of commission, right? Not dead? Sucks, man. No, dude, I hate. Oh. We 
It becomes an addiction. You can't stop. He's completely losing it. Losing it. See, I knew there was something weird she's holding on the back of her head she was keeping secret. Dude, this animation's so cool. Faraday, really? Oh, he's just so messed up. Is this the guy from last episode? Or is he just so messed up I can't recognize him? That might be the case. I I did not know Katsuo was his son. Is it what she saw of David? Was that Faraday? guys
Please tell me it wasn't Maine who killed her. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's he's lost it, I think. Dude, he's like scary. <laughs> Dude, this is horrifying. God. Did he have man's hands or arms or whatever? He does. Well, the show's back at it again, killing people. Not one main character, but two main characters died this episode. No pun intended. Dude, that was rough. That was rough, bros. I knew the minute the episode started when you see main running but it was main before he had any implants. Like it was just his organic self. When we saw main running in the beginning, I think it means either one of two things. It was showing just a sneak, a little snippet of him when he was still organic, or it was like showing his like inner self, the remaining soul of his like organicness like the remaining human part of him is it seemed like it was running either to escape what was coming or it was running and it ended up finally stopping because it can no longer run and that was like the end of the run like you know what I mean that was the end of main kind of and then the AI chrome part of him started to take over the Either one of those is what it could have meant, I guess, but... And on top of losing Maine, we lost Dorio. Man. 
I mean, I guess they went out like Bonnie and Clyde, kind of. If you think about it. What was it, last episode? Or, I think it was the beginning of last episode. Where he was, David and Maine were talking. And Maine said, when I die, you can take... He can take his hands. And I knew when he said that... Something was going to happen. But, yeah. I mean... What even happened to Dory? Okay, obviously she got shot in the head. <clears throat> it seemed like she got shot from behind, though. So I think it was Max Tag that shot her. Or police. Or I, I think it... Or was it... It wasn't Trauma Team, I don't think. I, I, I'm hoping... It wasn't Maine that shot her through the head. It was someone from behind that shot her through the back of the head. Because if, if it was Maine that shot her, dude, that sucks. That's terrible. Okay, so we kind of know now why Kiwi has a mask on. It's either one of two things. It's because she has no bottom face. Or it was when Maine punched her in the face that the robotic part of her face came out. I think it's just that she has no... That's why she has a mask on. Because she has no bottom face. You know what I mean? I think that's why she's a mask on. So it makes sense. It's not just for style. It's actually because I think she has no, you know. So that makes sense. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Something, Lucy saw something in Tanaka that spooked her big time. It like completely changed her personality. It, was it that she was seeing... Tanaka was mentioning to David about something about him having like special something is something about him and since Lucy was in Tanaka's head I think she was able to see what he was talking about and whatever it is it spooked Lucy I'm not sure what exactly it is but obviously we're going to find out so what who, who do we have less who, who's left in the game we had what? We started off with seven, right? We had David, we had Lucy, Maine, Pilar, Dorio, Kiwi, Rebecca. Who do we have now? Lucy, David, Kiwi, Rebecca, Ki wait. We only have four. Lucy, David, Kiwi, and Rebecca. And who who wait? There was a new guy. I don't... There was multiple times in this episode where I feel like I missed last episode. Like... Maine's becoming Cyber Psycho for just whatever. We have a new character, Falco, right? Was it Falco? Let me see. I have never... Am I going crazy? Or is this a new character entirely? What was his name? Falco? Yeah, okay. And also, when you... I was watching the beginning part again, when you see Maine running. I think it's literally to represent the fact that he's at the end of the road. Because you see Maine running. On the road. And he stops at the end. So I think it represents that he's at the end of the road. You know what I mean? Like... His humanness is done you know what I mean it can't go no more and that's when he becomes a cyber psycho I think is what it means kind of yeah his name's Falco I'm not sure I'm I'm I seriously I yeah this is episode six I watched last episode as well. okay I don't understand am I supposed to know who Falco is I don't know. I don't. I have never seen this character. I, I have no idea who he is. I don't ever remember this character. But apparently he's strong because when Maine punched Kiwi, Falco punched Maine in the face and it knocked him out or at least stunned him. So I don't know who Falco is, but he seems kind of like he's at least relatively strong. But. <sighs> Dude. Whack. But I was kind of right, what was it, three episodes, four episodes back? I think it was three. When uh, Lucy was talking to David, when they were like on a, like a top of a building watching like, I think a ship take off. 
uh, you saw Lucy grab the back of her head, and it was because she has the the port on the back of her head, and she's always hiding it for whatever reason. And even David in this episode mentioned, why do you always hide or keep secret your what your data import or whatever the heck it's called? So <clears throat> I I don't know if it's necessarily that, or maybe there's something about it obviously of why she's hiding it. <clears throat> and also makes sense because you remember two it was the same episode Peelhar got freaking his head blown off <clears throat> uh, Lucy goes to a ripper dock but she says she wants to go in by herself so there's something going on it's either it's either she's just self conscious about the huge hole in the back of her head or there's something else going on and I'm not we just don't know yet I'm not sure but see this is another every time I watch this show I'm just nervous and scared I have never seen a show in my life that has the guts to just literally kill off every main character like it killed two main characters off this episode I have never seen a show like this literally half the gang is dead and we're only on episode 6 I know there's only 10 episodes but still Pilar's dead Dorio's dead Main's dead Yeah, that's almost half the gang. I mean, Rebecca's not even... She's not even here, so... I hope maybe she'll come back next episode. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. But... That was, like, legitimately scary when Maine went full cyber psycho and you see him walking around, like, limping, like... Like a beast walking towards the... I don't know. It wasn't Max Tech. I think he... <laughs> It reminded me of uh, Darth Vader hunting down. I remember in the what was it, the first Star Wars, when Darth Vader's coming and they're like running and the doors shut on them, and he's just like killing everyone because they can't go anywhere. He's scary when he doesn't have his glasses. I don't know. He's like even scarier without them. I I don't know how that works, but it totally does. He is legitimately scary. And it was cool that even though he went cyber psycho, it seemed like ninety nine. He went ninety nine percent cyber psycho. He still had one percent of human uh, humanity or humanness left in him, because at the very end when he was talking to David, he was still consciously there. For the most part, like he was talking to him, you know, like telling David, "Do what you do best." and like run or like get out of there fast because you know it's San Devastan I just realized like a toilet paper here <laughs> I don't know how long that's been there but I had to blow my nose but anyways so I mean if he was full on 100% cyber psycho he wouldn't even have talked to David he either would have tried to shoot at well he did shoot first at David but it was just like of reflexes I'm pretty sure because after he realized it was David he was like oh hey David and then he wasn't continuously shooting at him. And he still talked to David. So if he was 100% cyber psycho, I think he would have just tried to kill David and immediately blow himself up. Shoot those all those gas canisters or whatever. So it was kind of cool to have like a... a proper goodbye between the two of them. And Doria just died just like that. Just, just dead. Well, she got a proper burial at least, so that's cool. I'm not sure what exact. I mean, obviously, May knew what he was about to do. He was going to die. But when we saw him stacking up the canisters, it made it look like he was stacking up wood to, like, burn her. As in, like, like, a funeral type thing. I mean, he did burn her. But not the way... I mean, I don't... I assume he knew what he was doing. Because he told David to get out of there fast. 
so he was like in and out of reality but yeah that was rough and at the very end there we saw David either he is losing it he's you know he's losing it because of the Sendevistan or he's got some PTSD from what just happened with Maine because at the end there when we saw that animation and all that he's like standing there and it, it it looks like he's losing it. It's either the PTSD from what just happened, which it might possibly be, or he is indeed losing it like Maine was. I don't know. Dude, this is rough. And maybe, actually, maybe now we got five members, because it seems like we got Falco. So maybe now we got David, Lucy, Rebecca, Kiwi, and Falco. So maybe we got five now? Well, Kiwi's probably going to be out for an episode or two, I assume. Because she got dunked in the face by Maine. So that could not have felt good. And Rebecca's still out, so... So maybe we only have three. Like, actual bodies that are actually there you know what I mean like we got Lucy David and Falco because Kiwi got dunked in the face so I assume she won't be in next episode Rebecca hasn't been in the past two so we got three right now I cannot believe we lost Maine or Dor like I was not expecting Dorio to die at least like that two characters dying within like a three minute <sighs> well, David has Maine's arms now, or hands at least. I I don't know what he's gonna do with them. I don't know if he can get them like with a ring. You can get them resized. Cause if he puts them suckers on, he's gonna have Hulk hands. Like you know those toys you get Hulk arm and they're like huge. That isn't at all going to fit his hands. I don't even think he'll be able to pick up his arms. I mean, I know David's strong, but those things probably weigh, what, 50 pounds each? They're metal hands. Like, it, it wouldn't even fit his wrists or anything, you know? So, if he gets, unless he gets them resized, I don't know what the heck he's going to do with them. So, yeah, that's that. Tanaka's dead. For some reason, I wasn't connecting the dots that... Katsuo is actually Tanaka was Katsuo's dad I, I wasn't connecting the dots for whatever reason but yeah there's that and yeah I don't know and I'm really curious I kind I really really want to know what the heck Lucy saw because it seems to be kind of damaging for David because we saw her seeing something about David's past or he was she was looking at like snippets of what Tanaka saw of David or something and whatever she saw it changed Lucy her at least I, I don't know I am loving the show though but boy oh boy is it hard to watch I mean it's exciting it's fun but besides that it's nerve-wracking and scary <laughs> after those two died in the episode I was thinking okay I literally I was thinking did David just die in that explosion I was genuinely thinking that because I have I don't even know what to expect from the show anymore I did not think I mean I didn't think Doria was going to die but especially Maine I <laughs> At least next episode, I'm pretty 100% positive that we'll see. We'll at least figure out who Falco is. And I seriously hope I'm not tripping. Is this the first introduction to Falco? Because it just he's just like here. Like, who the heck are you? I'm going to go back real quick to episode 5. Is he even in episode 5? And if he is, I'm going to look like an idiot. Nope. Okay, he is not in episode 5, so... This is just a character that's just now here. I don't know. 
And it's, it's, I wonder how much, it must not have been that much time because they captured Tanaka at the end of five and they have Tanaka alive in s episode six. So it must have been maybe a couple of days tops of time that went by. So, and it's weird because in the beginning of episode five, you see a uh, main just casually talking to David, completely normal. And just like that, in next episode, he's like in the midst of becoming a cyber psycho. So it just, just a snap. It just like that, it happens. It's not a casual thing, it's just like that. <sighs> that sucks. And it's clearly, it's, it's, it's like an addiction. Once you get Chrome, you keep adding, adding, and adding, and adding until it just takes over your body. And then you lose it. Yeah, you either lose yourself forever or die. So. All right. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna end here, boys. This was a rough one, that's for sure. And. Yeah, I'm gonna end here, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.